I see we have guests. Who are these strangers, Mithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus, Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvenen, Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zaprian, the Keeper of this clan. It's guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? Um... Keeper? You mean you're in charge here? I guide my fellow Dalish, and they follow my word out of respect. But I would still prefer to know with whom I am speaking. Uh, Grey Warden. Manners. From a Shemlin. Interesting. What might be your mission here? Have you come to spread news of the Blight? I had already sensed the corruption spreading in the South. The existence of the Blight is not news to me. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. Imagine my shock. They have their own problems. And here I thought it was going to be simple. Ooh, this looks fun. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest. But we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us. And though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. Even with all our magic and healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. Just like everyone else. Hmm. There are actually werewolves in the forest? There was a time in Ferelden's history when werebeasts roamed the lands in great numbers. Spirits possessed animals and turned them into horrific monsters. The humans warred against and destroyed these creatures. No doubt their tales of those days grow ever more inaccurate. Flemeth tells tales of such a time. Packs of possessed wolves akin to abominations roaming the land. It was a terrible age, now long past. The werebeasts are not all gone from this land, and the ones that stalk the Brazilian forests are proof of this. Why did they attack you? They are savage and unrelenting. They need no reason to attack anyone. What is curious, however, is the ambush. We expect werewolves to be no more cunning than a rabid wolf. The ambush suggests a level of intelligence we've never seen before. They were organized, namely. Let's see. Uh, I suppose I have to offer assistance. Sorry, I was multitasking here. Yes, we have to offer. We have to offer assistance. The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself, and that. That would be no trivial task to retrieve. Yeah, we're good at non-trivial tasks. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. Yeah, we'll do it for you then. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. 
but if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. Alrighty. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. So here we are in the Dalish camp, obviously. Have a look around at a couple of things before we head into the forest and start killing everything that moves. Come on, you knew that you knew that was coming. You need. Your entry is good for now. You need some more elemental stuff. Yeah, that that shock will help. I need to enhance your attack abilities. You'll all be leveled fine soon enough. You need to get Liliana something lighter, I think. Oh yeah, we'll be talking to not you. Someone else here in a little bit. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Ferrothorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durgenlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Ferrothorn. And so they should. Truly the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. Now then, please forgive my distraction, stranger. Is there something that you need? Uh, we need to trade. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be... You're, a merch you're not a merchant, that means you're easy to scam. No, he what I really need... I don't like that crossbow, it's too slow to fire. Um, let's see. Some Dalish armor would actually work well, I think. Boots, gloves, stuff like that. And, uh, longbow would be good also. That works well, I think. Alrighty. Much more suitable for a rogue, definitely. Eh. Still got the chainmail boots, no. And where's the bow? There you go. Much better suited. Eh. Actually, no, it might be you. What am I thinking of? Yes, let's talk, talk to this one. See if you re see if you recognize her voice. Under an Atitian Grey Warden. My name is Lanaya. I am Zaprian's first, what you might call an apprentice, perhaps. I've been studying under the Keeper all my life. I am a bit curious of the outside world. Do you mind if I ask you a question or two? Why not? I hear the human cities are very large. Thousands upon thousands of souls all packed together in their houses. Is that true? Yes, some are larger than the eye can see. How very loud that must be with everyone talking all at once. I try to imagine those of our people living in such a place, surrounded by walls of stone and indifference. It is a difficult thought. You've obviously never been to New York or Boston. Or Chicago, or Seattle, or Miami, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Being accustomed to pain and suffering does not make it any less tragic. It is said that one day we will have a land of our own. We Dalish gather the ancient wisdom in preparation for this. When that day comes, all elves, even those who have forgotten, will reclaim their former glory. I have a question. If it's not too impolite to ask, do your people regret what they did to ours? Some of us do, but we're not all the same. I see. That is difficult for our people to accept. Even if only some were in favor of what was done to us, the rest did nothing to stop it. A poet once wrote of them before the fall of the Dales. Like dragons they fly, glory upon wings. Like dragons, they savage, fearsome, pretty things. 
But you don't need me to quote poetry to you. Forgive me. Perhaps you have some questions of your own. Well, you do have a tendency to quote poetry. In more than one story. As you wish. Darth Shiro. Sure, at least a couple of you recognize her voice. Let me know if you do. Don't Google it. See if you can figure it out before you type it in to the internet. Man, it's pretty self-evident. Into the forest we go. Got everything we need. Alistair will level up soon. I can improve his armor. I'm gonna get a better suit of armor in this forest. It is tricky, eh? The last part is tricky. I hope I remember how to do it. it. It tells you how to do it. You just have to read the journal entry and not screw it up by hitting the wrong button. Which, knowing me, is definitely a possibility. So here we are in the Brazilian forest. There's gonna be dark spawn, wolves, spiders, and all manner of stuff in here. But we'll get through it. It's not that tough. Might be a nice chance in it for us. But fire up my weapon as well. And I'm off. Ooh, there's more. There's always more. Was there any doubt? Good. Very good. Anything good on any of you? Oh, there's a potion. Yes, please. Right further in. Now, is this where we get the conversation? Nope. It's a big bear! Bears! Giant bears! Templar. Fire arrows. What would a Templar be doing in the forest? Seriously. Doesn't make much sense. Andraste's Grace. It's actually a gift for Liliana. In fact, we'll get that to her now, why not? Because otherwise I'm going to forget. Because I have a tendency to forget things because I'm human. Well, at least I think I'm human. Last time I checked, but that was a couple of years ago. Flowers? For me? Oh, they smell lovely. And there's something so familiar about them. These, these were my mother's flowers. She would sprinkle the dry petals amongst her clothes. Oh... They smell just like her. Thank you so much. Yay. It's always so nice to give someone a present when they're covered in blood. It's the best time. Ooh. Ambush. Well, not really ambush. Confrontation, I should say. The Watch Wolves have spoken truly, my brothers and sisters. The Dalish sent a human of all things to repay us for our attack, to put us in our place. What bitter irony. <laughs> um, let's see. And who are you supposed to be? You speak to Swift Runner. I lead my cursed brothers and sisters. Turn back now. Go back to the Dalish and tell them that you have failed. <sighs> tell them we will gladly watch them suffer the same curse we have suffered for too long. We will watch them pay. Let's see. I would prefer to talk to you. Was it not Safrian who sent you? <sighs> He wishes only our destruction, never to talk. Is there no way this can be resolved peacefully? The time for peace is long past. There will be no peace between the elves and we who are cursed. Hmm. 
Uh huh. You know nothing, do you? Nothing of us, and even less of those you serve. You are a fool, and we are done talking. Run from the forest while you can. Run to the Dalish and tell them they are doomed. I don't want to fight, but neither can I retreat. I do not wish to fight you, but our enemy has sent you to us, and now you force our hand. Hey, come, brothers and sisters! Swift Runner calls you to battle! Drive this invader from our midst! Last one to kill it, get the prize! <laughs> <laughs> Going. And I'm off. Whoa! Enough! The forest has eyes of its own, and it shall deal with you. You have been warned. 